This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Earth Log Thursday, April 17th, 2014. 1222. Hey, guess what? I'm thinking about planets and I'm thinking about stars. Saturn in particular and the stars that would be the diffused gray spots in our common knowledge of the star chain main sequencing sequence or whatever man Maybe I'm thinking about nothing no I'm definitely thinking about something I felt dumb and dumbfounded when I found a story on a Saturn gives birth to a moon as a baby moonlet I was like oh a moonlet that's cute and I was like hey wait that's weird and then I was like okay I need to do some research on Saturn and I realized for me personally and maybe for a whole lot of other people too there's like this cliff where you kind of know about Venus and you kind of know about Mercury and you definitely know about Earth, though the apathy level varies on Earth knowledge. People know about Mars and Jupiter, yeah. And then all the other planets get skipped and it's like, yeah, and Pluto got demoted. So that's it. There's, there's a cliff after Jupiter of Earthling knowledge on the planets and the solar system. I too was guilty up until now. So I went to do my due diligence on Saturn because I'm cool like that. And, uh, it was like, wow, this thing is chock full of mysteries. Saturn's amazing. I was like, why don't people talk about Saturn more? I was like, oh yeah. Uh, some guy said that Saturn is the bad guy's planet. The antagonist's planet. I'm like, that is, what, why? Saturn's awesome and beautiful with rings and a tilt, you know? It's way out there. And it still glows like a mofo. It's the farthest planet that the naked eye can see. And sometimes it's super bright, as bright as anything. So... How's Saturn a bad guy? And then I was looking at it. Apparently we got the bad guy antagonist rap. When Rome got his fingers on it. And I'm like, well, duh. To myself. Like, I'm not surprised. You know? Saturn is definitely not an evil planet. People be like, well, there's a hexagon. Like, really? You scared of a fucking hexagon, man? Holy crap. The circle is still the most powerful symbol in the solar system. As far as I know. All right, then. Anyway. Saturn's got a ton of mysteries. That's what I'm telling you. That's it. And the train agrees. Saturn has a bunch of mysteries. So we're going to diggity, 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 diggity dive into them. It's got rings. How'd they get there? Nobody knows. It's giant. It's got storms. It's got lightning. It's got giant moons bigger than planets. They have lakes, oceans, alien water. That's what I'm calling it. That's a Thor News term. And I'm going to guess life. Sweet. Sweet. It's got more moons than they can give names to. It's got so many moons. They got up to like 50 or 60. Like crap. We're running out of mythology. We're going to have to wait. To like come up with some new myths. And that's going to be wild because I think right now, myths are illegal. Science, religion, and government all agree that new mythologies shall for hereforth be illegal. As long as Osmandius rules. What? Tangent. Crazy. Sweet. Plants are cool, man. You don't have to agree. But I don't know why you're watching this. Especially this far into the video. You know? You know? This is my Akua. Good and junior. How'd I do? Even the NASA robot agrees. The universe still holds many secrets. Our solar system and the universe and our galaxy are filled with mysteries. And I'm guessing a lot of the answers we think we know we got totally wrong. And I want to say again, I think the accretion disk theory is totally silly. I mean, really? Giant cloud of dust gets too heavy, collapses on itself, and creates Jessica Alba. Nice try, buddy. But I ain't no spring chicken. We just fell off the turnip truck. You know? I got a smartphone. <laughs> All right. That is an episode ender. But I haven't hit the button yet, so I guess that means the episode's still going. Is it? So that is that, and it is what it is. Thor News has a brand new series on our hands. The Many Mysteries of Saturn. I hope you'll stick along with me. Go along for the ride. And in the next episode, I will dive into how Saturn gave birth to a new baby, baby. All right. Man, are you like me and asking yourself, holy crud, I wonder what the soda pop on Saturn tastes like. Now, YouTube high five. Peace out.